The only question is, is how do I start going up? Finding the ascension point, always the roughest part. I wonder if I have to get on the tall neck and like jump over. I doubt it, but that would be pretty cool. Because I think the vantage is gonna be up there, but I could be wrong. Could also be up over here. What's that? A supply crate? That looks like it could be the vantage. Is there a way to climb up here? I mean, there has to be if there's a supply crate up there. Hello, ancient debris. This is looking a little sus right here. Where does this lead? Yeah, I think this is the one I wanted to go for, not the other one. Alley -oop. Nailed it. Pretty sure the Dismount Strike Trophy is a DLC trophy? If it is, I'm pretty sure I already have it. That doesn't sound like a DLC trophy. Dismount Strike was in the base game. It would be really weird for that to be a Dismount Strike thing. Nope, you're right. Never mind. I'm a fool. Oh, they have feats, which is separate. I was just looking at the Frozen Wild Quest one. Oh, no, wait. No, I was looking at this one. It just didn't... Why didn't that one bring it up? Oh, you have to use the repair thing, too? That's lame. Yeah, it's weird. It was showing all of them to me except those two for some reason. Very strange. What am I missing in here? Hidden. Hidden ultra rare. Completed Tall Neck Bandit Camp and Hunting Ground and the Cut. I think I got really annoyed with the Hunting Ground and didn't do that one. New game plus! I'm not gonna bother with that. That's a trophy they can keep. That's fine. We'll get Dismount Strike eventually. I mean, I'm gonna get to level 60, so I'll have all the skill points for it. Seems really easy to pull off. And you just have to do it. Whoop. PS5 thing doesn't show all the trophies you need, only highlights a few. That's lame. It should just let me keep scrolling to the right to show them all. Instead of having to go and open up the main trophy thing. That's stupid. A vantage point. More ruins, more stories. Second to last one. Colorado Springs. A pocket shit storm tour day four. It's hard to believe Metallurgic International used to be headquartered in this dreary old cigarette. Wyatt's office was on the second floor from the top. If Emmett had a policy against workplace romances, he probably wrote it. Good for him. All right, one vantage left and it's on the way to the main mission. So now we just need this. What a weird set of trophies to include with the DLC to like use, to use skills from the base game. What a strange decision. I guess those were trophies that they might have wanted in the original game, but just didn't get around to for some reason. So when they did the DLC, they were like, hey, we can add in those others we were considering that we never did. Very weird. What's that right there? Hello there, random data point. First Amendment virtual? Editorial, does the First Amendment apply to virtual spaces? April 29th, 2063. Last week, in one of the biggest synchronized police actions in US history, the homes of more than 700 private citizens were raided and more than 500 arrests were made for the crime of inciting criminal behavior using private informational processes. If you've been paying attention over the past nine years, you'll know how to parse the above legal word soup. Those raided are accused of participating in a virtual anti-corporate sovereignty rally, this time at the Holonet headquarters of Sterling Malkeet. Watching 500 people, many of them bloodied and terrified, hauled from their homes by police SWAT bots is, understandably and rightfully, horrifying to a lot of people, but this is nothing new. As far back as 2054, when the first major arrest of virtual protesters occurred over the occupation of Metallurgic International's Holographic Customer Service Center, oh my goodness, pundits and courts have engaged in the debate over whether or not the internet constitutes a public space and is therefore legally required to oblige peace, uh, peaceable assembly. Legislation simply hasn't kept up with the advance of the holonet, and that's no accident. It serves the interests of Sterling, Malkeet, and Metallurgic and their corporate ilk to treat the holoscape not as a public space, but, in the words of Metallurgic-backed Senator Gerard O'Neill, an array of privately owned information processes. The same O'Neill, data corrupted, etc., etc. First Amendment, man. Very, very important. 
Oh, hey, I got another skill point. Let's go. Give me knockdown. Mine. We're gonna stream Artie. I feel like I've heard the name Dragon's Dogma before, but I know nothing about it. Can I get through here? All right, it looks like I would be able to squeeze through there, but I was wrong. Fine, I'll go around. Why did the music pick up? Did something see me? Is that it right there? Oh, that's a dead watcher. Something saw me at some point and then stopped. All the way over there. Wow, that's uh pretty far. Over the river from where the marker is. Whew. Hello. I'll shake it out later. Bam. Think we only have yeah, one more. All that's left in the game is one ancient vessel, one vantage point, and one Banook figure. We are about done with collectibles all together, chat. I think the Banook figure and the ancient vessel are like right over here, right? Yeah, they're both right there. So while I'm doing this next mission to like go up through here, we can knock out both of those. And then all of the collectibles will be done except for the final vantage right up there. Very good, very good. So let's get back to questing. No errands. Trader's bounty first? May as well. All the way over here. Put me right there. Loading, loading, loading. Yo, Cartman, welcome to stream. Just a few weeks now. From Forbidden West, three weeks to this be exact. Be Releases in three weeks. To check in. She mentions that Nassan guy every time I fast travel over here. I think that might be a glitch, because I think she's talking about a side quest that I've already completed. Because the person we're going to up here is Euthid, not Nassan. Ariel. Much better, much better. I guess I could have used Call Mount for this, but I'm already... I'm too dedicated to running now, so now we run. Yeah, I mean, it's right up here anyway. We're basically there. Shortcut. That probably won't end up being much shorter because of having to jump. Is that a fox? Yeah, it was. Overkill! That was three arrows. That's what I get for preloading. Still no fox skin. Game refuses to give me the one thing I asked for. Hello, Mr. Euthid, are you home? I'd like to have a chat with you. Just a small discussion. Three dead trees, just like Vinasha said. Let's see if Uthid can. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb. Didn't mean to cut you off with yourself there, Aloy. I didn't get that campfire to proc. Oh well. Probably doesn't matter. Yo, this dude is gonna think I'm a mercenary and, like, open fire on me, I bet. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll become good friends. Just become good buddies and we can fight all the other mercenaries off together. It'll be- it'll be great. Perfect bonding experience. alley -oop. I didn't snap to grab that. Maybe that wasn't where I was supposed to jump. That looks like where I'm supposed to jump, though. I think I just jumped too early. Yeah, because that doesn't look right. Mm, no, maybe I'm dumb. Oh, dang. Very amazed I'm alive. 
Aloy does have knees of, uh, like, plastic cups. That really looks like I'm supposed to jump from here to there. Oh, well. This, this doesn't feel right, but hey, if it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Take the scenic route. Can I grab that? Mm, not quite. I really feel like I'm going the incredibly wrong way. Can you grab that? Oh, that looks super grabbable. Nope. What if I jump to that from here? Gonna end up dying. Oh, let's go, I'm a gamer. Yep, that's definitely as intended. Whoop. Don't mind me coming through. Right here? Yeah. Excuse me. I have a dude to talk to up here. Man, this is quite the climb, huh? Excuse me, is uh, Mr. Euphid home? I'd like to see if he's interested in my Girl Scout cookies. All right, made it. Where did you go, Uthid? Food scraps. I'll bet Uthid stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Highlight this bad boy, let's go! Where am I on the map? Oh, we're way up here, what the heck? Uthid, I just wanna talk! I realize you may be like, you're- a machine. Uthid's been hunting. You may be like, you're- You're like, loaded up on weapons to the teeth. Everything useful has been stripped. Oh, I couldn't leave any for me. I hear machine. No, no, not the birds. It's always the dang birds, man. Hi. Dead. Nope. Ow. Flint hawks being annoying. Name a more iconic Horizon Zero Dawn statement. You are way too far away. Yeah, get a bit closer for me. Oh. Come here, bud. Things are getting in my way there, grass. Nailed it. Dead. It was like the cleanest glint hawk battle I think I've ever had in this game. At least in this redux. Yo, where is Uthid? This way. Uthid took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. He didn't take them all though. Left a bunch of parts. Where'd that fox go? Take hey. Watchers. More scrap for Uthid's stockpile. My dude, he's getting loaded up. Where on earth is he? Oh, damn, I almost walked off the edge like a buffoon. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. <coughs> Sorry. What, what trick? I just said I think you're innocent. And he's like, you know what? You got me. You deserve to kill me. <laughs> Wasn't much of a trick. I just I said a word. Hey, you best buddy. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. 
I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahabas for the sun's judgment. The high priest Bahabas? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor? Sacrifice? True sacrifice? The kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes, an untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him, used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's killers! When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo! You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Got someone to fight here! That's a lot of lads! Fine. Dead. Bad shot. It's up to you now, man. Nice curve. Rally. We can still finish them. Hey. Hey, you. I'm not done shooting you yet. Nailed it. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't come over here. This is what soldiers do. Uh, dude, I can't hit the broadside of a barn. Oh, hello. Get up. Wait, did you just do an explosive arrow oh, right next to hello? Rest as soon as they arrive. All right, I'll be the first to admit. Could have gone a lot better. Could have gone a lot better. Oh, dear. All right, you got to pull these bad boys back. These people are way too far away for a shot that off to hit. Oh, I really thought I nailed him there. Yeah, jump down, dummy. Keep up the attack. We still got another slot on the way. How many squads do they have on the way? Oh dear. A lot of squads on the way, it turns out. Ow, alright. Nailed it. Dude, I'm amazing. Be the last Follow me. I've stashed the fire. I'd like to do some looting first, if you wouldn't mind. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of looting. Thank you. Wait. Oh, we gotta, like, do it together. Okay.
Coming. 